Hi, this is Chris Engelbert with Engelbert Financial Advisors downtown Pennsylvania, and I wanted to give you an update on our six signposts for recovery. If you remember a couple of weeks ago, I put out six signposts that we were going to be looking for, and now on April 16th, I wanted to update those for you. Number one, uh, the signpost was a flattening out of the curve as far as the coronavirus goes. We have seen that flattening out of the curve. Uh, we are seeing more testing being done, and the results of the more testing is showing lower infection rates. This is a good thing, and we actually think that we are slightly ahead of where everybody thought that we were going to be at this particular time. So our first signpost was a flattening out of the curve, uh, and also we have to see whether or not uh, we really need to identify those at-risk individuals. So you can see, for example, that they're beginning to understand more and more about this virus and what needs to be done and who to identify as far as who's at risk and how you help those particular people. Our second signpost was that we knew the economic data was going to be bad over the next 30 to 45 days. Uh, the, the media is screaming negative information towards you. You're going to hear today about the jobless claims hitting an all-time high of 22 million people. You're going to see uh, that housing starts have plummeted. Uh, there's been news in the media over the bad earnings reports, especially from the banks. We knew that this was coming. However, if you remember, last week the stock market had a rip-roaring 20% rally. And I'm getting questions from people going, well, how can that be if the economic data is so bad? The investment markets are looking through this bad economic data and they're seeing what the other side and what the recovery is going to look like. The third signpost was that the global stimulus had yet to start working its way through the system two weeks ago. This week, we started to see the stimulus checks being uh, uh, sent out to everybody and deposited in their accounts. We're also seeing the SBA small business loans also starting to free up and that money being given to business as well. You're going to hear another negative headline that the fact that the SBA program has hit its limit and run out of money, but Congress is already talking about expanding that program because it's been very successful in getting the money to where it needs to be. So the stimulus is just beginning to roll out. We think it's going to continue at a very rapid pace over the next two or three weeks, and you're going to see some positive uh, news because of that. Uh, the fourth signpost was the reduction in liquidity stress. Now, the way this is measured is in the bond market. You see how corporate bond, bonds trade versus U.S. Treasuries. And several weeks ago, we saw corporate bond interest rates literally at huge, what they call spreads to U.S. Treasuries. We're beginning to see the bond market start to return to normal. Now, we have not worked through all the problems that could potentially be out there, but we are beginning to see a greatly reduced uh, liquidity stress situation, which we thought uh, would happen, and it has happened at this particular point in time. The other signpost we had, number five, was that investors were beginning to realize that there was value out there. This is obvious with last week's rally and the continuation of the rally in the stock market this week. We are beginning to see some extremely undervalued areas out there, especially in energy and the banks. Many of these stocks have been pounded down 70 to 80 percent uh, and pricing in as if they were going to go out of business. We do not believe that that's going to happen, especially with the banks at this particular time. Our last signpost was that no other big risk to the financial system. Uh, keep your fingers crossed. Uh, we haven't seen any other shoe drop at this particular point in time. Uh, but again, what we're trying to talk to you about is that the media is really trying to panic everybody out there and make you stay glued to the headlines. We think that there's going to be a U-shaped recovery. It's going to take time to get the economy back up and running again. Uh, and the way it's going to start back up is we believe that there's going to be many unique features as far as how companies start back up. Maybe your company, if it's a rather large one, has to have widespread testing before everybody can go back on uh, to work. But we think that there's going to be some very unique solutions to get us back to work. So this is our update. Uh, in a couple of weeks, we'll do another update. Hope you enjoy it. We are here for you. Uh, contact us. Uh, 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 we are uh, available, obviously, via phone or email. Uh, and also, we're going to start doing live Facebooks and live Twitters. So if you're not following us on Facebook, follow us at C. Engelbert RIA. And make sure you get on Twitter. We're going to be doing live Twitter hits at C. Engelbert RIA. Have a great rest of the week and hope to talk to you soon.